Hello Libra, this is going to be your third party reading for March. I know these are getting out kind of late, but I'm not going to be doing all the signs and I'm just doing it as they come. I'm working on April stuff, so April stuff will be out in a timely fashion, I promise, okay? So let's get into Libra's third party reading. The first spread is going to be for Libra's being put in third party situations, so you're going to be at the top. Um, your partner's energy is going to be in the middle and their other party is going to be at the bottom. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got the Three of Swords as your energy, Libra. So going through some heartbreak or separation. Five of Swords is your partner's energy, so they're acting really as if they don't care. Um, in my opinion, or there's some pride there. There was some sort of conflict between you two. King of Swords energy, so... Um, you're, some of you are going to be single. You're going to wind up leaving a relationship due to a conflict or it could have been a third-party situation as this is a third-party reading. If you would like to get a personal reading, you can check out the description below. Um, and you can also check out everything else I have on the website down there. But some of you are definitely going to wind up leaving a relationship yourself by yourself single. This is male or female Libra. Okay, so... Knight of Pentacles is your partner's energy. So some of you were dealing with someone where there was like a lack of growth or they were just very slow to commit. So you you just decided to walk away from that or, um, you know, just choose yourself above everything because this person could, could even like not be speaking to you right now with the retrograde energy. We have Judgment as their partner's energy. Um, so... Their partner's making a decision about the relationship. They may be reconnecting with someone here with the Judgment card. And we have the Two of Swords as uh, your partner's energy in that relationship. So they're not even really moving forward in their other relationship either, uh, Libra. Okay, so with your energy, you're walking away from a third-party situation. Um, you're walking away from a relationship where there was a lack of growth or someone who was slow to commit. And then there's the Queen of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So uh, I feel like some of you are dealing with the water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that may be walking away from their other partner this month, Libra. And you're going to walk away from this person regardless. So I think that your partner is going to wind up like super single by the end of April, this water sign. Um, full card, so a complete clearing of the energy here at the bottom of the deck. This is Queen of Cups energy. One. Page of Swords. Um, <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. Some of you are going to wind up getting rid of a water sign who doesn't necessarily tell you the truth. Maybe that you're getting rid of them because... Um, they don't tell the truth or they uh, play like manipulative games. They're just very complacent in the connection and they're juggling on top of that. You know, they have another person. Um, let me see what their partner's judgment card's about. What is this judgment energy is about for their partner? I mean, if you want this person, they will be single. But I feel like you don't as the King of Swords is there by itself. So we've got the Judgment card, Four of Swords, Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So in the, in my opinion, from these cards, it looks like this person is also ready to leave the connection. Two of Wands, Four of Cups, not happy, not satisfied. Um, maybe also upset about the Two of Wands energy or the third party energy. They may also have someone else there's themselves that they are um, rebounding to whatever, whatever, okay? So let's see what the top energy is looking like, Libra. Let's see what your energy is looking like with your partner. This is for those being put in third-party situations. So if you are dealing with a Libra who is putting you in a third-party situation, you'll want to watch the next spread. Okay. Two. One. We've got Discovery. So this is about the Libra self-worth here. So walking away from this relationship or putting a stop to something that doesn't serve you here will help you level up some way in life, help you discover yourself and what's best for you. You may also discover a soulmate or twin flame energy as this is a red energy. 
okay? It's a root chakra, primordial energy. So your partner's energy, Libra, will pull for that. Release, yep. So they're being released or they're having to release a connection. Um, they're having to say goodbye to you because you're going on some journey, a spiritual journey with a twin flame or just, you know, on your own, whatever. You're going to discover yourself. So they're having to let go. I also feel like their other relationship is crumbling here too. So they're having some release on both ends too. Um, balance. So this would be the more stable relationship I'm feeling here maybe. Doesn't have to be, but it could be like a um, combined living arrangement. This was the relationship where they were either married or living together. There may be some sort of separation involving court divorce. And look, the soulmate card is coming out. So that energy is present in one way or the other. Like I said, the red energy matches with the soulmate energy. It's a primordial energy. An older energy before time, well, before man, I guess, would be better to say. All right, so Libra, you're leaving a situation that doesn't serve you because of a third-party situation. It could be you leaving a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, this Earth energy. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you're dealing with an air sign, I feel you may be going towards that air sign because an air sign is coming out in your, um, your spread, so you could be leaving this water sign or this earth sign to go towards an air sign okay so let's look for those being put in third party situations by libras <clears throat> you have to listen out for your energy top and bottom the libra will be in the middle okay and i'll also tell you how the libra is interacting in each relationship so that'll be able to tell you should be able to tell you what energy you are What's going on here? Shuffle really good. Yeah. Alright, so we've got the Emperor energy as a, a partner's energy. So some of you could be an Aries or a Taurus dealing with a Libra. Or you're not talking to a Libra right now and you're not on good terms with a Libra. Death card energy overall. There's also Scorpio. That's Scorpio energy. So we have the Four of Swords. So yeah, there's some of you who are like beefing with the Libra. You're not talking to the Libra. Your energy showing up here. You could be an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And then Five of Wands. So arguments, um, petty things though. Not Five of Swords energy. Things that can be worked out, but. This could be Mercury retrograde energy as well. So if you're not talking to your partner right now, it's because of the retrograde. It's completely natural for couples who are meant to be together to separate during retrogrades. King of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is a Libra's energy. So a Libra could be drinking or doing some, doing the most in some way, consuming in itself with emotion. Um, this could be a person with water significantly in their chart rising. Um, or moon because they're coming up water and they're supposed to be like king of swords so they're an emotional space some of them may be drinking or doing some other things to deal with that pain you have the lover's card so if you're this is a gemini energy so gemini is coming up again but this is also for those who's dealing with a libra but also dealing with someone else so you have a choice between a libra and someone else this would be your energy <coughs> Six of Pentacles is the Libra's energy. So the Libra wants to move forward um, with this person. Six of Pentacles. So if you're a Gemini, Libra could want to make move forward with you. Um, or even if you have a choice between a Libra and someone else, the Libra wants to uh, reconcile with you and move forward. They want to start reciprocating the energy. Um, the Libra wants to start giving you what you give out, that type of thing. <clears throat> Then we have the High Priestess energy in the outcome. So this is like a soulmate connection here with the Lover's card and High Priestess for the um, Libra. 
If I had to bet, I'd say that the Libra's leaving this relationship here, the Emperor, Energy, Force, Swords, and the Five of Wands. This energy may have also been stagnated as well during the Mercury retrograde. There may have been like a period of not speaking. You may not even be speaking right now, but uh, the Libra wants to reconcile with you. So Gemini, Pisces is here. Okay. Um, signs that the Libra is having a hard time with are the Aries and Taurus that I'm showing here. Water could also be a hard spot. I mean, maybe Scorpio or... Um, not Pisces, Cancer. Why is the King of Swords, King of Pentacles, someone's financial obligations may have them down as well. That could be the Libra. The Libra's energy could be um, feeling some type of way because they may have to like deal with some type of financial obligations with closing out a relationship. Um, or they're just heavily burdened by obligations. Okay. Um... I'm getting one more for this because I got two court cards. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, so what I'm feeling for the Libra is the Libra would like the relationship to move forward with one of these people here. I feel like it's this high priestess and lover's energy down here. If you're a very spiritual person, um, you don't, you know, you're spiritual yourself, then it's probably you because you're coming up as the high priestess. You know who I'm talking about. Um... The Libra wants to take things to the next level, but their finances are not able to do so. So they're like escaping in some way. They may be closed off to you because they can't take things to the next level. I think financially, though, April is going to look better for the Libra. Even uh, Libra's April reading looked a lot better for finances as long as they're willing to make the necessary sacrifices. Okay. <clears throat> so, um,. Let's see what the outcome is for this one, because the Five of Wands is there, so it tells me that this re this relationship here is going to remain in some sort of conflict, probably even when the re the retrograde ends. That's how I know this is not a relationship that's probably going to work out, but let's see. Queen of Cups, here's that water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So if you're a water sign... Other than Pisces, because Pisces is here and a soulmate connection with the Libra. So if you're like a Cancer or a Scorpio, Libras are not really feeling your energy right now. Um, something's up with that water energy right there. Um, Cancers, it would understandable. It's a square. Cancer and Libra are both cardinal energies. Um, and Scorpio is coming up as death energy originally anyway. So um, I just feel like for those signs. Okay, um, also Aries and Taurus is still here. I will say that they are, Taurus has came up in something that they are willing to consider. Also other Libras, Gemini, okay. I feel like the Libra wants commitment. The Libra definitely wants to settle down, but money's in the way. Trying to get that money right is an issue for the Libra. <clears throat> they need to change careers, most of them. All right, so let's... Look at the energy for the top spread. <clears throat> Bittersweet, yeah, I feel it. There's feelings here, but I don't think they're feelings that are meant to last. Complacency, someone's drawing out the ending here. It's like someone's playing the violin. <clears throat> wow, the Titanic is sinking right now in that relationship. Alright, completion. So the Libra definitely needs to let go of some things here. Endings, maybe third parties, other people involved, um, self-centeredness, not moving forward, okay? Um, they may need to gain clarity, okay? Um, there's the forgiveness card also could make sense here for the Libra. So the Libra is, has been fighting this spiritual connection for a while with this high priestess, but can't fight it you might as well join it so i think the completion card applies to the career and also the older relationship here for the libra <clears throat> so um let's see what's going on with this down here this looks juicy it's nice it's a uh, pretty powerful lover's card and high priestess <clears throat> 
somebody's working that magic forgiveness okay so that card came out here so forgiveness is needed in this situation as well so if you're dealing with a libra that is coming back around it may be time to forgive this person um or also this could talk about if the libra was like five of pentacles to you before they were standoffish because they were dealing with this it's time to kind of let that go and move forward okay um, I do feel like this relationship here is very powerful, so it is going to take some time to unfold. But I do feel like the Libra is going to do their their part to make it work now, whereas they were kind of trying not to curse BSing before, okay? So I hope that this reading helps you out. If you need a personal, like I said, make sure you check the description out. If you'd like to get some tarot classes, payment plans are available. You can check that out in the description too. Just email me if you want to do that, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.